Hello, it's Jennifer Harding Marlin coming to you with video number two in a series of five videos talking about the more difficult situations for getting citizenship by investment and how we are able to successfully help the client get citizenship by investment. So one of the big issues that can be a reason for denial for citizenship is if you've had previous visa denials. So for example, um, provided you have had a visa-free denial to the United States, but the Caribbean Citizenship by Investment Programs or the particular Citizenship by Investment Program that you're applying for does not have visa-free travel to the United States, it doesn't really matter that you've been denied a visa to the US. However, if you've been denied a visa where the particular country that you're applying for citizenship by investment does have visa-free uh, travel agreements in place with, with that country, then this can be problematic. So it would be important to disclose if you've had any visa denials in the past. And so oftentimes when clients have had visa denials, we recommend that they do the Dominica Citizenship by Investment Program because Dominica has been more flexible in accepting applicants who have had previous visa denials. Although we do know of people who applied through other firms that were denied because they had been denied visa, um, because they had previous visa denials. So one case we had an applicant from Algeria, and as some of you might not might not know this, but Algeria, the passport is not very strong. It doesn't have much visa-free travel, and somebody with a passport has to continuously apply for visas when they're traveling. So we were able to successfully demonstrate that visa denials were unfair and arbitrary, and unfortunately some countries, uh, I don't know how to word this, would be more sort of either discriminatory or unfair or treat citizens of certain countries in a different manner than they should. And so we were able to successfully get this client Dominican citizenship. And so it's really important when um, you're dealing with someone to really disclose if you had any previous visa denials. And sometimes it's good to have documentation to show the reason for the de denial so that the person can help build your case. As well, we were able to demonstrate that the individual was someone of good standing, had a clean criminal record, and um, was contributing to society and had a lot of plus factors. And through doing due diligence background check, they, they passed all the due diligence background checks and were successfully able to get citizenship. So if you want more information, you can visit our website at jhmarlin.com or send me an email at jennifer at jhmarlin.com. Look out for video number three in series of five. Bye for now.